Okay, you guys, so this afternoon, I'm gonna eat some homemade, easy homemade French bread. Take a screenshot of this, or actually I can leave this recipe in the description. I got this recipe from Mail's Kitchen Cafe. I just went ahead and printed it out, but it makes two loaves of uh, French bread. I'm not sure. I just might um, half it just to do one. I'll see. But I'm pretty sure this mixer can handle two. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get started, and we are going to make some French bread uh, tonight. I'm making some cheesy broccoli soup, cheddar broccoli soup, something like that. So I wanted to make some homemade bread to go with it. So let's get started. So first, I'm gonna go ahead and attach my dough hook. But first, I'm gonna add two and one fourth cups of warm water. Then I'm going to add two tablespoons of regular sugar. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of my instant yeast. This one doesn't have to taste or anything. So I'm gonna lift up the bowl and I'm just going to mix this. Now I'm going to add three fourths tablespoon of salt. I'm going to add two tablespoons of oil. I'm just using vegetable oil, but you can use canola oil or olive oil or whatever oil that you have on hand. I'm going to add three cups of oil, um, three cups of flour, not oil. Okay. This is two. And three, this is just about three. And mix, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix it. I love this mixer because there's so much space to add ingredients. I sped it up a little bit and since I did that, it's actually starting to collect the flour from the side of the bowl more. I have it set at a, like five, in the middle of four and six. So I'm gonna cut it back down. I'm gonna go ahead and add my second cup for the, for the, the gradually added flour. I'm gonna let this go. Almost a cup more of flour. Well, I'll do half of that. We got much left. Not bad. I'm gonna check it and it's still pretty sticky so I'm gonna add the rest of this flour and then check it in a minute. So it's still a little sticky so but I do, I don't mind it like this. I think I'm just gonna let it knead for about two to three minutes and then I'm gonna see how it feels after that. If it's, well, I'll add a little more. I'll just add a tad bit more flour and I think we should be good. Cause I don't want it too dense. So I think I'm gonna um, leave it at this and then see what it looks like in two to three minutes. Okay, you guys, so I think it's nice and smooth, but it's still super sticky. So I think I need to add a little more flour. Still super sticky. I'm probably just gonna leave it um, super sticky. If this isn't enough, I'm just gonna leave it and um, just let it rise. So I'll be back when this is blended in. Okay guys, so I just stopped it and it is 
perfect, it's sticky. Well, I was gonna say it doesn't stick to my hand, but for the most part it doesn't. But I'm gonna leave it like this. I'm just gonna take this down and take it off the dough hook. And then I'm gonna let this rise for an hour to an hour and a half in my microwave uh, with the light on. And we'll be back in a minute. So I just like to cover it with some plastic wrap. I'm just gonna sit this in the microwave for about an hour to an hour and 30 minutes until it's doubled in size. Right, guys, we are back. The bread, as you can tell, the bread dough, I should say, has risen and it, it is still pretty sticky. I'm gonna probably add a little extra flour to um, separate it or whatever. Take this out. And here, uh, let me pause this for a second. Okay, you guys. So it was quite a bit sticky. So probably we could add a little more flour. Maybe I added too much water. Thought I measured it properly. But anyway, so basically, I'm not good at this <laughs> this part. So just go with it. Just. Yeah, I'm trying to make it look like a French bread. I don't think it has to be perfect. This is half. So I'm gonna make it kind of long. Okay. I'm just actually gonna do this. I'm gonna pinch it. Make sure it's sealed. And I kind of want the ends to be more skinny because that's how French bread is. So let's see if I can get it to look like an actual French bread. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna leave it at. Not too bad, I guess. I have a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper I'm gonna put it on. Go ahead and put this back there, and then I'm gonna stick a second one. That one seems a little longer, that's okay. Hey, you guys, so I covered these with um, plastic wrap, and it's a little sticky. I put some flour, but I feel like I need to put like a little bit more because mommy, it's still mommy, sticky. Mommy, mommy. I don't want it to stick and then when I when it's fully risen. Mommy. Yes. Mommy, mommy. Yes. Mommy. Um, sticky. Yeah, I'll just probably dust it off if I have to oh. when I'm done. But I'm just put some, I put the, it's rising pretty good. It says, it says I'll leave it for an hour. So, and I'm already at 15 minutes in and it's risen pretty good so far. So I just don't want it to stick. So that's why I added some extra okay, flour. So I'm just gonna take some scissors. I'm just gonna do this. So it's gonna be easier than um, a knife. I'm just gonna tuck these little no, things in. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna help you. Okay, so we're about to put these in the oven. Okay, guys, so this is the bread. Um, it turned out really good. Pretty hard, pretty crusty. Um, I'm gonna cut it open here in a minute. I'm gonna just let it cool off a little bit and then I'm gonna cut it open for you guys. I'm gonna show you the bottom. It's really hot, but um, what it's looking like at the bottom i'll probably try to put less flour on top next time for sure but you know we trial and error whatever i'm sure it'll still taste good so be right back so i'm just gonna cut it in the middle 
Hopefully it's cooked. I feel like I left it in long enough. I forgot to set a timer, so I had to like eyeball it, but whoa. Super hot. But that's what we're working with on the inside. Super soft, like super soft on the inside. I'm gonna go ahead and have a bread. I just have to use this. I didn't let it cool off, like I said. It's a little hard to get to the bottom, but oh, so good. You guys can probably see the steam super soft so i'm gonna for sure let this cool off now but i think we're gonna try this piece we're gonna put some butter on it and i cannot wait to dip this in my cheddar broccoli soup tonight all right you guys hope you guys enjoyed this video i'll leave the recipe for this bread in the description and um give it a try all right thanks for watching see you next time bye